Alright guys, hello and welcome to the third race of the BTCC test races, I would say. And since it's reverse grid, you're gonna see the BMW straight of well, starting OP-ness, I would say. Um, we started in 7th, I think. And now after the first couple turns we are in... I would guess that's third and well, now it's a third we just overtook the mates uh, mr bob is behind us even though he started in front of us and i think Gunther's had a had not the best start yeah he's like three positions behind us um meanwhile mr bob is trying to make his way through here uh we're still fighting with uh psychedelics magneto S and spooky squid in front of us well psychedelics is kind of moving away after that bmw start and trying to find a way to overtake the front wheel drives will be fun in the rear wheel drives. The, the parts that you can overtake, I think the, the front wheel drives have a little bit of an advantage. So I basically have to hope for a mistake or get a good run out of the, after, out of the last turn. But now I have 66 kilos, I think. Gunshot says 75 and Mr. Bob has 50 something. 56, I think. Or 57. I think it's 75, 66, 57, 48, and so on and so on. Well, I could I could just look, look that up, but I'm a tiny bit too lazy. So we're going for an overtake. Dive into tier, turn one. Against the front wheel drives. That's just not going to happen. Maybe a better run out of the turn one. No, that's just not my turn. Can't make a move into turn three or two whatever the heck it is i think it's turn three we're sticking to our line a tiny bit more uh, i think that's magnetized we made a small mistake so which is actually going for an overtake there magnet is running a tiny bit wide it's kind of the same mistake he did in in lab and uh, race one where he just had to wait in the, in the middle that was a bit unfortunate Bit risky move from Spooky Squid there, but uh, I mean, it's, I would call it a racing incident, I guess. He's just kind of pressed to the outside there. Hold and hold this line. So now, new order Psychedelic Spooky Squid. Me, then Mr. Bob, and then Gunches and Smart Pipe. Then it's Nimites and Carl, I think, is the other one. And we're going sideways again. We're heating our ties up so quickly. And it's just not healthy for the car, I would say. Clipping a bit of the inside there, out of the curb. Maybe trying to get a run towards Spooky Squid there. I think it was a good exit out of the last turn. Maybe with a bit of... Oh, Rip Magnet in the background there. That is going to be a good run. I mean, the run could have been better, but... Decent enough. We just have to stay on the inside. Is he actually looking for... Wow. Okay. I totally forgot about that move. I was looking for his inside. I was next to him and Spooky Squid looked for Psyche's inside. Uh, that was fun to watch. Shame I'm in fourth now. Or fifth, actually. My Papa and Mr. Bob have a little adventure there. It's my Papa trying to look up the inside of Mr. Bob here. And now we are behind Mr. Bob and Gunches can kind of run away if, as soon as he gets past uh, Spooky Squid, he's gone, basically. We should, normally should have the speed to keep up with him, but just not my not my day, I would guess, with the ballast. Or I didn't expect the ballast to be that bad. So, there's a little spin there, a little bit of wiggly out of the sharp, uh, out of the close... Oh, out of the close uh, or small chicane. And now we have heated tires. We're behind Magnet in front of Alex Nessie. And there's psychedelics behind Alex Nessie now. So as you can see, we have kind of hot tires. And now we should be second to last. Or third to last because Paus is driving. Oh, look at that slide. All the hot tires. 
Uh, as I said earlier, it's so hard to cool down the tires for the for the BMW. So now psychedelics overtook us because we went wide into the last turn. I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna die for this. No, I'm not gonna die for that. I'm smart because I mean our tires are heated up already, so just gonna guess that psychedelics tires are heated up as well. Other than that, nice three-way BMW fight. Should be fun to watch. Late braking buster. Still think that BMW sounds amazing while downshifting. Yeah, that that sound is just amazing. I think good. I don't know if Psych fixed that sound, but I know that Psych fixed one sound and out a couple sounds in the cars that were totally balked. So if you if you fixed that one, uh, Psych, it was a good good choice and a good fix. Gosh, I'm looking so unstable going through those turns. Oh, yeah, that was Psych went to the right, I went to the left of the track. That was beautiful to watch. That was a bit of sarcasm there, by the way. So, Psyche and me still have hot tires. I'm not sure about Alex Nassi if he has hot tires. Oh, rip psychedelics. Probably two hot tires. Oh. F Alex Nassi as well. Hot tires there as well. And now we are in ninth position out of 14. I think uh, oh yeah, Vibrarian didn't join because he had to go to work because he's from New Zealand and I think he's I think he's like ten or twelve hours ahead. So while this race was at eight or nine p.m. my time, I think it was eight around eight. Uh, it was basically time for him to go to work, as it almost always is. I mean the races are on Sunday night for us, so he always has to get up at like six or seven to basically race and then go to work that's just so strange and i wouldn't be able to to race at that time i, I just hate time zones the same with americans they're online when we aren't or when we like go to bed that's a small gap between both time zones or all three times like big major time zones being not online at the same time i mean you know how time zones work just an idea in my opinion not that we can do anything against it. Okay, so where are we in the race? Five seconds to Alex Nassi. Still hot tires, as you can see. We have a nice drift there. Totally not calculated. Next drift. That was a better one. Well, who said we can't drift with the BMW? We will drive for the win. Alright, so we're catching up to Carl. Seven seconds to Carl. And we're also catching up because they're kind of in the pack to Magnet OS. Uh, Psychedex is lapped, so he's not actually in front of us. I think he went to the pits at some point. Uh, a little bit of a drift there out of turn one into turn two. And as you can see, the people around us are still in like kind of, of a close gap, so. Normally when I spin, uh, I can cool down the tires and I can try to catch up again. But since my tires were so hot, I, I just couldn't cool them down because I was sliding all over the place. Uh, I basically had like no chance to catch them up. I mean, I, I probably would have catched them up, or I probably will catch them up if we have like 10 more laps. Because by the time it's like 10 more laps, then I probably would have cooled down my la my tires at some point. Or the others would have heated up their tires as well. But right now, look at that. I'm even sliding through that turn. Okay, that turn is a bitch, but still. It's uh, a bitch to break because the car moves a lot on braking sometimes. Especially in that turn because you're steering, braking. Then you have to basically focus on the next turn. That was like at the legs, by the way. Now he went into the pits. Uh, I think by the with the touch with um um with uh boogie squid or lovely drift shame we almost stopped 
Um, yeah, with the touch with uh, Psuk uh, Psuki Squid and Psychedelics, I think Psychedelics broke his rear suspension, I think that's what he said. So the, the steering was really weird. Yeah, that kind of screwed him over, and then the BMW with hot tires. It's just... Basically, it's undrivable. Let's just say it like that. I can also say the, the fastest laps of the race, which were... I think it was a 135.7, which is 7 tenths slower than uh, the fastest lap before from Mr. Bob. Um, so you can see the ballast has a major impact on our times. I don't know how it will handle on different tracks. It could be interesting. Oh yeah, right. I wanted to say the other tracks on the uh, in race two. It's gonna be, uh, as I said, rear-wheel drive and front-wheel drive preferred tracks. Uh, for example, Brands Hatch in the Catwell Park, my personal pe favorite. It's gonna be such a big mess in the race because um, if you watch the stream where I practice that, there's a jump in it. And uh, I think we're allowed to take that jump. So lap one, basically every lap is going to be so much carnage because either you slow down, get ran from behind in lap one, or you jump and maybe spin in a jump. So that should be that should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we have. Two more laps to go, well one lap and then the rest of the other one, or the rest of this one. So basically I think it was a, re a pretty good test. Uh, we kind of saw that we have um, or that the cars have different advantages because, in my opinion, the, the BMW is not OP. Of course, the start is OP because we can just launch past people, as you saw in my start in this race. I think I picked up two or three positions, and it's also gonna cause carnage because there's just so much, so much quicker people in the um, on the starting grid. You can just compare it to our GT3 start in La Sarthe. Where everybody wrecked on the starting group because I think Smart Pipe lagged a bit. Maestro had a really long gear, and that's just two people in the starting grid that's gonna be or that's gonna start slow. And nobody's like expecting it. Or even if you expect it, maybe the guy behind you doesn't expect it and just runs you over. But here it's something that we have, that we know and that we have to learn to live with, because Um if we start the season. Of course, in the first race, and first qualifying, nobody's going to have ballast. But in the second one, we're going to have ballast. And in the second race, uh, on the, in the second track, we're going to have ballast from the from the get-go. So already in the qualifying. And I think the ballast is going to balance out the cars a lot. As you can see, I was driving two seconds slower than my practice time without ballast. If I win the race. Which, if Sharky and Gunn just drive... Uh, oh, take part in race, I would say. Uh, that's just not gonna happen. And then we also have Gem Knight and uh, Magnet Dress and Mr. Bob and other people that are really quick. I'm sorry if I forgot somebody. Um, so I think there's a, a really good competition. I think uh, Sharky picked the Toyota, so maybe he's in our attacking range at least in the first race without Ballast. We have to talk about the other races because Ballast is gonna is gonna kill us or kill us. If I if I say us, I mean my team that is driving BMWs mostly. I think Mr. Bob is driving BMW. Magnus is driving BMW. I think Matt is driving BMW as well. Matt didn't test that much yet. Ah, uh, but uh, it should be fun. I think the BMW is not that OP as people think. The start is a tiny bit of a power, but then again, you have the front wheel drives, which just which are just so OP in the and the, in the long turns. And here we actually catch up to to Carl PC, but it's the last lap, last turn, and we're like two seconds away from him. So one or two more laps, and I probably would have gotten him. 
still a lot of drifting going on, but the tires cooled down a bit more. So um, that is it for this practice race session. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to see you the week after the 28th. Should be around the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, I think. Yeah, Super Bowl is on the 4th, so it's going to be around that time. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one.